Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful lattice or plait fold card. This was requested. Quite a few people asked me to do a version of this style. Now I had a little look on Pinterest and there are hundreds and hundreds of different templates. There's just so many. But I wanted one that was quite thin and that ran from the very bottom to the very top. So looking at the templates that are on there, I've come up with this version and I think it's come together really nicely. So that's one version. This is on five by seven, but you can do this on any size card. And then with this one here, I've actually done that same piece here and I've popped it inside the card. So you can see this is like a Cadbury's purple color. So beautiful, really like these. And I've used the new Butterfly Kisses collection by Dovecraft. So let me show you how to make I promise you these are easy cards. So first of all, we need to make our template. Like I said, there are loads on Pinterest, lots of them are offering free downloads, so you could download from there. If you do make your own template, you can then photocopy it, so you've got it to print whatever you need. Or if you want to make a digital version, then you can use like Cricut Design Space, or if you've got any software that you want, you know, that you prefer to use, then you can do. This here, I'm using a piece of copy paper, and this is a piece of two by six. So this is my template, and I'm gonna redo another one so you know you know exactly how I've done it. So first of all, along the two inch side here, lay your ruler down, and you want to mark at half an inch and one inch. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp. Okay, and then mark the same along the bottom. So half an inch and one inch. And then just join those markers up, like so. Then you want to run along this side and I'm going to lay my ruler down and you're going to mark at every quarter of an inch. So a quarter, half an inch, three quarters, one and then again quarter, half, three quarters, two, quarter, half, three quarters, three, just every single quarter of an inch. Okay, so if I just hold that up, you'll see I've got all those little markers there and then those two lines. Next we want to go along this one here, this line here, and you're going to mark it every half an inch. So I'm going to do like a little circle. I'm going to just keep my ruler just slightly above that line and I'm just going to put at every half an inch just a little dot. Okay, and then bring your ruler down to the next line and repeat. So again, every half inch. Just bring that up there so you can see. So you've got quarter inch increments along the outside here and then half inch increments on these two lines here. Then you want to just pop a line along the top here. So you'll have a quarter inch marker here and here. It's that second quarter inch marker in which will be half an inch will line up with these other half inch markers here. This whole section now will become our fold and it's what we're going to use to wrap it around the top of the card. And again at the opposite end just line up these two here which will hit the second quarter inch marker there and again just kind of blank that out so you know where you're working. Next what we want to do is create these. Now I've marked with a red line just to indicate that these are going to be your cut lines. I'm going to pop it just on an angle there because that's how we're going to work. What you want to do first of all is from the corner here, which is here, you're going to draw a line on the diagonal up to the first half inch section on the outer main line here. So I'm just going to lay my ruler down and line it up with the dot, like so. Then the next quarter inch marker, so this one here, you're going to line up to the first dot on the inner line here. So again, just lining that up. And the key here is the precision and getting these lines, you know, perfect. So all of the shorter lines will hit the first line here and all of the longer lines will hit the second outer line. And if you stick with that then you'll get it, you, you know, you can't go wrong. So again, longer and then the next one, shorter, longer, shorter 
And once you get into the rhythm of doing that, it will be very easy. And I think by making your own template, you really get an understanding of how everything's kind of coming together. So I'm just going to carry on doing this until I've done all of them. And when you're left with these last two, just join them up to the very top. So that one will join up like so, and then that smaller one like so. So you will have something like this. Next you want to grab your card blank. So I have a pre-made store brought 5x7. And this left hand side you want to run along the folded side of your card. And these two lines here will line up perfectly with the top and bottom of your 5x7. If it's a 6x6 just line up the markers until you're happy where they're positioned and then fold over any excess. But I'm now just going to fold that one like so and then get yourself a strong clip and clip it within this section here. You need to keep this free because this is where we're going to cut. And then again fold over the bottom and make sure that paper's pulled nice and taut. And again I'm just going to clip that one in place there. Okay so this is lined up with the fold of that card. These are the Tim Holtz scissors here. I want something that's got that real point because that will mean you won't get any splitting at the end of your cuts. Starting from the very corner, the very bottom line, you're just going to follow that to the end of the line. And what I said during the live when I first made this is if you can try and do it in one cut, so just position your scissors so that they will lay down and cut that all in one go, you'll get a much neater finish. And I'm just working my way along that template, like so. And just keep doing that until you get to the very end. Okay, now when you get to the second to last, so the last longest line, you're actually just going to cut the whole corner away. So like so, but do not throw away that piece of cardstock because we're going to now stick that on the bottom. So remove your template, you can now throw that away because you've cut into it and you'll have all these cut lines here. So now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to turn it around. Next what you're going to do is every long arrow or big arrow, so you'll see you've got a small arrow which would be your small cuts, then you'll have a large arrow, small, large, and so on. Miss the small arrow, and you want to take the large arrow, I'm going to have to bring it down to do it, and you're going to fold it back on itself, and I would burnish the sides, so you have that effect. So you can see the smaller arrows underneath, and I've just brought that large arrow and pulled it down over the top. Now I'm using a 300 GSM cardstock. I would recommend, if this is the first time you're doing it, maybe try it with a lighter cardstock, so like a 220 or 240, so it's a bit softer, but it does work with 300, but you do have to really kind of, you know, fold that cardstock down. Next, you're gonna grab the next large arrow, so you're always missing the small one. Grab the, the larger one and fold it again back. And the key to this is making sure that your folds are nice and flat, but also, the score line and the point of each of your arrows lines up with the score line here of the card. Now when you bring that one over, you're then going to lock it underneath the previous one. So you have that effect. Again, miss the short one or the smaller one, bring down the larger one again. And just pop it under each time. Now I don't use any glue on the actual lattice. I only add a little bit of glue on the bottom when we add this one on. So I'm going to continue that now, taking the every other, and it will always be the larger arrow, and folding it back over on itself. Okay, so now you'll have something like that. This one here, you're going to stick under that smallest arrow and then just line it up with the bottom of the card making sure that the fold on this little piece again lines up with all of that there so I'm just going to add a tiny bead of glue just along the bottom 
of that piece. Again, I'm not adding any glue to the middle. Just feed it under the edge there. And then if you use liquid glue, you've got a little bit of wiggle time. Just, just make sure that middle score line lines up with the middle of the card. Like so. And we're going to trim a little bit away of this in a moment. Okay, so that's now dry. And then just very carefully fold the card back into its original shape. And you can just grab your bone folder. Now with this bottom piece here, you see I've got a little bit where I've gone up probably a little bit higher. There we go, I can just pull it down a bit, but you can just snip that away there, like so. And then what you want to do is just follow the same angle and just snip off the bottom there. It just means you just get that same pattern and angle. Okay, and that's it. Rest now is just decorating the card. Now also another thing that's nice to do, and I'll tell you how to create this effect here, is with this card is just open it up, pop it in your scoreboard, I'm going to do it so this flat edge is along the top, and I just scored at three and three quarters on each side. Now I'm not going to do it on this one because I don't want to do it with this card, but just score at three and three quarters, and then flip it over and score again at three and three quarters. And that's those two score lines, the three and three quarter ones there. And then you'll just fold it like that and stick it inside the card. It's as simple as that. So for this one, your th both the three and three quarter score lines will be valleys. And then this is the mountain, which it already is. So it's really easy and it just gives you a completely different look. And then you can just decorate your card as you wish. But for this one, I do want to just keep it like so. I'm going to have this end at the top and this one at the bottom. So I've pulled out, I'll show you all of the collection here and I will link the unboxing video. So this is the new Butterfly Kisses, there's just so much to the collection but I focused on the decoupage and the paper pad for these cards. So this is the decoupage kit and the decoupage will allow you to make these 3D toppers and there are eight I think it is, yeah eight designs so that's one of them. You have this one here with the bouquet, I've got this one here which I made up before and then I have this one, which is like a gift tag, which I'm going to use on today's card. And you can see all of them on there. There's other ones as well. And then that will all coordinate with the paper pad. So again, you can see some of the papers here. I've pulled out all the J kind of the geometric ones for these cards. So I've got that purple one, the green one, and then I'm using this. It reminds me of the spirograph when you used to create those flowers. That's the one I'm using today. So I've got a piece of silver card here, which is three and three quarters by six and three quarters and then the pattern paper is three and a half by six and a half. I've already stuck the pink on top of the silver there and then I'm going to stick that piece within this section and then I'm going to show you how you can weave some ribbon through. So I've just stuck the topper down and then I've got one of the bows which also come in this new collection and I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue and just stick that into the top of the topper and I'll just show you those are the bows there so you get the kind of magenta colour there as well. Okay so first of all open up the card and I just want to weave this one in here like so. Then this one is going to go in the top one here and then just pull them both together. So we've attached it to the card like so keeping it together and this is just the way I'm doing it there are you know lots of other ways that you can weave your ribbon if you would prefer so now with the end I'm going to then come back in the next one here so both of them through at the same time keeping them nice and flat and then again in through the next one and each time I'm just pulling it so that they sit on top of each other like so and you'll see you get the same nice pattern there. And just keep repeating that until you get to the end. And then when you get to the top, just have one of them go through the very end one so this one can come around and that way you can tie your bow. Okay, 
away so that's that done and then I'm just going to finish it off with some Nouveau drops so I'm going to use the plum pudding and I love this one here which is the morning dew and I'm just going to pop a few just around the sides just So that's the finished card. I like to do all different sizes. So it takes a little bit of time to dry, but not too long. And then you can see that lovely design on the side there. Lots of room inside. I'm just going to quickly open it there. You can see that lovely pattern throughout. And also if you use a white core, then you'll get that lovely design there where you get the two colours together. So do have a play around. Use pattern paper as well, pattern card. You can create some beautiful effects. And again, if I bring that up a bit closer, you can see the Nouveau drops there as well and just all this dimension there's just you know there's a lot going on and again I'll bring that one back up so you can see and all the glitters already on there as well it's just such a nice design and I hope for some of you that maybe have seen this design before and have maybe been a bit um, nervous to try it hopefully this video now has encouraged you to you know give this card a go go check out some other templates as well that are out there and hopefully make some really beautiful cards so thank you for watching today if you have enjoyed today's tutorial then please check out some of the others that are popping up now if you haven't subscribed again and you've enjoyed what I've showed you today please hit the subscription button or subscribe button and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon bye